What's going on guys, Home Slice Henry here and we have a really fun video for you guys today. Some of you guys may remember, but last season I did end up accidentally winning a game with Shuckle in the Great League. This season, my goal once I hit rank 10 was to replicate that achievement, basically to win in the Open Great League with Shuckle. My thinking was the best possible way to do this more than likely involved a really strong team composition, basically even a broken team composition. So for this specific task, I decided to use the infamous Grasshold team, but swap out Basti down for Shuckle. And as you can see, it actually went okay. So without further ado, let's hop in and check out these battles. All right, and we're hopping into the first game against Howowin K145. I know I mucked up that pronunciation. I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. Leading Shuckle into Marowak. You're like, oh, hey, well, we can hit for super effective. Shuckle's attack stat is like negative, dude. <laughs> my only hope is if he switches out which he realizes he doesn't have to do so I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble here I go for the rock blast just to try and draw first blood here so we can do some nice big super effective damage and oh my goodness <laughs> oh no <laughs> and he's gonna counter with a shadow ball here Ouch, that hurt. But honestly, for the CP disparity, Shuckle holds up pretty well, to be honest. A little bit of lag there. We do get to the Rock Blast, which is fantastic. We're gonna go for the Rock Blast, then we're gonna try and catch a charge move onto our Blossom. This is probably gonna be thrown here pretty soon. So we switch out and we're able to catch what's more than likely going to be a Bone Club, which is fantastic, because that will be resisted. We do catch the Bone Club, which is great. All right, and they swap in a Shift Tree. So there have been worse matchups than this. I'm definitely okay with there being a Shift Tree here. Shift Tree's gonna be going for Charge Move. I do decide to let that go. It is the foul play that it does chunk quite a bit, but Blossom's tanking, so it's gonna do okay. We're gonna get to a Leaf Blade. This is gonna be resisted, but Shift Tree is very glassy, so it will still do a nice chunk of damage and we do get a shield, fantastic. And as you can see, those razor waves are doing quite a bit of damage, surprisingly. We are going to let this go and come in with the victory bell. We are gonna wait our clock though, because at this point, the shuckle's main use is just as a stack, because it, yeah, it's low health. So we are going to come in here. We're gonna count to two, one, two. We sack the shuckle perfectly on the foul play. So now it's just Victory Bell against the world. We were able to successfully use Shuckle as a third shield there. Now Victory Bell is gonna be able to farm down. We have two shields and quite a bit of health. Unfortunately, that Marowak is very, very healthy. And those fire spins are eating away at us. We are going to need to shield this up just because we need to preserve health. And I mean, we have two shields, we may as well start using them. We are able to shield up that Bone Club successfully and ah, gets to another charge move, we'll shield this one up as well. So we'll leave this matchup with no shields, but quite a bit of energy, so that should help. We go for the Bone Club, and they switch out into a Meganium. I'm trying to get to Double Leaf Blade here. Unfortunately, I just can't quite get there. They're gonna be able to get to a Frenzy Plant and take us out. So unfortunately, we weren't able to win in that game despite having a couple good catches. So unfortunately, we're not quite able to take that game. But hey, you know, we keep at it. Hopping into the next game, it's Whisper 62A4, and I'm so sorry in advance, Whisper. <laughs> Leading Shuckle into Galarian Stunfisk. Okay, this is not a good matchup. We'll save swap into our Velossum instantly. Velossum comes in, and he's not switching out right away, which tells me that he probably doesn't have a hard punish to grass, which means Victory Bell can roam free. Let's go for a rock slide. And Blossom is fairly tanky. Let's see what comes in. And a Shadow Machamp. Interesting. So the fact that, yeah, the Shadow Machamp was what he brought in means that he is definitely not running a hard grass punish. We do get a shield, which is great. And he is going to be able to counter us down. Oh, he actually does throw there, which is fantastic. So him throwing energy is perfect. I'm a-okay with that. And at this point, I'm thinking, he probably doesn't have a grass counter, so I can probably come in with Victory Bell here and I may be able to sweep. 
And I mean, granted, Shovel's not going to do me any favors against the champ. So I'm going to go on the Victory Bell. You're able to delete the Shadow Machamp. We know we can handle the Stun Fist. What comes out? The Stun Fist comes out. That tells us whatever's in back has a worse matchup than Stun Fist. Maybe Azumarill. If so, then we are in fantastic shape. Rock Slide there. We do go for the Leaf Blade. Hoping to either take it out or to get a shield. Honestly, either one works. See how that goes. We do get the shield. So he's now shieldless, which is great. So if we're able to shield this and farm down, if it isn't a Zoom in back, we may be able to get enough of an energy lead to get to the Leaf Blade to take it out. Rock Slide coming through. And they switch in, and it is the Azumarill. And we do have an energy lead here. And we are able to get to the Leaf Blade, which is huge. This is going to be taking out the Azumarill. And from here, I mean, there's not a lot they can really do. They bring in the Stun Fist. I try and switch into Shuckle, and they resign. So we were able to win a game with Shuckle at rank 10. This has been a dream of mine for a while. I did win a game with Shuckle in the Open Great League last season at rank nine, but now I can say I've been able to do it at rank 10. So I am super excited about that because Shuckle is my boy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you're new and you're enjoying the content, definitely feel free to subscribe. It's free and helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one with a more than likely a flying cup video.